Ah, fan showdown, season three, episode 10. We've been really doubling down on the fan showdown this holiday season. I hope you don't mind, but um, let's just get right to the chase. Cut right to the chase, you know. The first fan we're gonna look at today is the OSFD, and it was created by Mark. OSFD stands for one short of a full deck, which ties into the name of the fan because, well, the fan has 51 blades and a deck of cards has 52. Nah. Anyway, Mark said he's been watching the fan showdown or the channel itself for over a year, so thank you for that. And he's been messing around with different fan designs, but this was the first one that he designed that he was interested enough in to send to the show. The best part is that Mark designed this fan with 3D printing in mind, so the angle of attack of the fan blades is about 45 degrees. So that means the fan printed very well with no support material, and it printed pretty quickly because of that. It took about, you know, a couple hours to print out it. 0.2 layer height. In addition, the inner blades are actually thicker than the outer blades. So the outer blades of the fan are thinner, trying to keep most of the mass of the fan towards the center, like your mom. But the idea is, you know, think figure skater. Mass inward spin quicker, hopefully better coolant performance, or something like that. Now this next fan has a pretty unique story to go along with it. This is the, the Osprey fan, and it was created by Zach. Now this fan was inspired by the V-22 Osprey, which is a unique tilt rotor aircraft used by the United States military. More specifically, the prop rotor of the V-22 Osprey, which a prop rotor is, if you take an airplane propeller and a helicopter rotor, and you put them together, you get a prop rotor. Now Zach said that he submitted this design a while back and it was never selected for the fan showdown. He then took an aerodynamics class in college, and I guess he got like a, an aerodynamics project for the class and he thought back to this fan that he submitted and decided that you know what why not use this fan for my project so in his project for the class he ran the the blades through some flow simulations and calculations to try to figure out how well this fan would have performed but the good thing is is that when he did that he remembered that this fan existed and decided to resubmit it to the channel and today we have it and it was interesting to look through his 16 page paper that he sent along with it but it'd be really interesting to see how exactly did it perform in real life. But before we get into that fan, we need to, well, one, I need to try to pronounce a Russian name. Pray for me. And show you a unique fan that's design is pretty unique compared to all the other fans you've ever seen on the show. This is the Scooper Drooper, and it was, a, here we go. It was created by Vichulaz, Vichulaz, Vichulov, Vichulov. Nope. Now, not much is known about this fan as Vichulov didn't really send along a lot of information with it. The only thing he really said was, I created a spinning thing. And to that, yeah, you're right. Other than that, I didn't really have much to go on when it came to the true inspiration of this fan other than like the information provided with it. Like for example, the file name for this fan was SL underscore ST first guess, which I assume is a clue. And after a quick duck duck go search, I found out that SLST is like a secret crocheting technique. Now I know you're probably skeptical of this conclusion that I'm drawing, and I was too, until I looked up the slit, slip stitch and found a procedure on how to accomplish it. And in that procedure, there was a figure that looked very similar to said fan. I rest my case. Now the fan showdown wouldn't be the fan showdown if we didn't have a fan that was excessively large and overly complicated for like a cooling fan, way, way out there compared to anything you would ever see in like a normal extreme gaming PC. This is the Francis Turbine and it was created by Yuki. The Francis Turbine is loosely based on the water turbine in which it shares its name, the Francis Turbine, which is an inward flow reaction turbine that combines radial and axial flow concepts. Now Yuki did say that they went ahead and modify the blade slightly to hopefully give it better performance in air, hence it was originally designed for water. But I did look up a picture of a Francis turbine and I was surprised to see how well the design holds up. I mean, at least the one I found. Everybody likes a good centripetal fan. Anyway, in the sound test, the Francis turbine came in around 47.6 dBA. The OFSD came in around 48 dBA. The Osprey came in around 53.6 dBA.
and the scooper duper came in around 52.6 dBA. Now out of these four fans, the Francis Turbine did the best on paper, but after listening to them all and looking at the spectrum, which one of these fans do you think you could listen to every single day of your life if it was like actually in a, in a fan mounted in your PC? Assuming, you know, they can all move air. In the flows test, the first thing I noticed was that the OFSD and the Osprey looked very similar, performing almost the same, or at least looking like they did. And it's hard to tell from the flow test alone which one of these two will perform better in the thermal test. Secondly though, the Francis Turbine is doing a fantastic job, at least compared to other, you know, fans of this type we've seen in the past. But the elephant in the room is the Scooper Duper. Yikes. This it's not looking good after seeing the flow test with this fan um i think it'll be a win if this doesn't thermally throttle the system the francis turbine came in with an average temperature of 80.5 at a room temperature of 19.9 giving us a delta of 60.6 the ofsd came in with an average temperature of 78.4 at a room temperature of 20.1 giving us a delta of 58.3 the osprey fan came in with an average temperature of 79 at a room temperature of 20.1 giving us a delta of 58.9 and the Scooper Duper came in with an average temperature of 88.7 at a room temperature of 20.1, giving us a delta of 68.6. Placing the OFSD in first place, the Osprey in second, the Francis Turbine in third, and the Scooper Duper didn't throttle. It got fourth, but still didn't throttle. Overall, these fans moved to 11, 12, 21, and 40th, respectively, and it's always been fun. Thank you all for watching this video especially if you made it this far thank you for uh hanging in there click the like button if this series is something you like and if you want to get involved or if you want to submit a design for the next video check the link in the description below i'll have all the information you need for like what critical dimensions you got to hit for your fans so they fit on the frame that we use also you can find model templates uh where to send send the fans i need at least an stl model to the fan showdown at gmail.com thank you guys all for uh Submit your designs. We'll see you next time. Oh, teaser though. If you are thinking of submitting a new design, I would think Airflow. Think CFM. Think Case Fan. Because I think that's where we're going to move in season four.